Hi everyone. So I am back with another five minute video in which we will be discussing one more important question according to our board exam. So please make sure that you all listen very, very carefully from beginning till the end of this complete video and make sure that you all like, share and subscribe my channel for more updates and so that it, you all can help me by sharing it also. And yes, take out take the notes of this question. It is again a very, very important question. We have already discussed two questions and this is the third question in continuation to five minute video. So the question is a metal is heated. A metal we're taking, we're taking a metal. Make sure that you remember what the question is saying. Metal we're taking and we're heating it with dilute H2SO4. Now, see, the question is saying we're having a metal and we're placing it in one acid. If you remember, I've told you all that whenever you're having a metal and you're placing it in acid, it is always going to give hydrogen gas along with the metal salt, right? That means you will get, let's say we are having, let's say, let's say zinc. Okay, so you will get ZnSO4 and H2 gas. We have discussed one more question related to the same concept, but now see the method of asking the question, the diagram given is totally different. And earlier also we have discussed this question, but the way was again different. So CBC take the same concept, which is there in your NCRT book, but the way of asking the question is a little different. That's why I'm bringing all the variation of, of question, whatever I'm finding. Okay, so please make sure that you all like all the videos and you see each and every video in continuation as I'm uploading the question so that by the time of exam, you have a proper series of it that what are the kind of question which can come. Okay, so now zinc is going to react with the ZnSO4 and this is what we are going to guess. So I think with this, our first part is already answered, named the gas evolved. So the gas evolved is hydrogen gas. So this is the answer to our first part. Now the second part is asking us, name the method of collection of the gas. So you know that if we are going to collect this hydrogen gas, so this always gets collected by the displacement of the other thing in the downward direction. So let's say if you're collecting it over water, you know that generally we collect hydrogen gas over water because it's lighter gas, right? So if you're collecting the hydrogen gas, so hydrogen gas will be collected here by the downward displacement of the other thing that is water, right? So this is the name of the method of collection of gas that it will be collected by the downward displacement of the water. Now, I'll write it downward displacement okay let's see the third part now the third part is saying is gas soluble or insoluble in water as i've already told you hydrogen gas is lighter gas and it don't get dissolved into the water so it will be collected over water and it is insoluble so the answer is insoluble Okay, now last part to this question is, is the gas lighter or heavier than air? It's very, very obvious. I've, I have already told you all this, that hydrogen is the lightest known element in the complete periodic table. That means hydrogen gas is also the lightest gas. So it is lighter than air, is lighter than air. I hope this is clear to you all, but still, if you find any kind of problem, please comment down or you can also mail me from there. I will see the question or doubt, whatever you're facing, and I will reply back to your questions. So this is it for today. Now we'll be meeting with some another great session. Until then, take care. Bye-bye, all of you.